Hey there, it's Mike. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. And I have an editing tutorial this time, and I haven't done one of these in a while, but I had this kind of complicated shot. I want to show you how I, I broke this down um, using flash and ambient when I had to do quite a bit of flash shots. If you've seen my channel, a lot of you know I would, you know, maybe start, I start with this dark, I'd add a flash shot, and then I do an overexposed ambient, which would look, in this case, like this. So that's my overexposed ambient. And then this would be my starting point, but I couldn't do that in in just three. I, you know, this kitchen was just too dark. It's too big. Um, <clears throat> I also have this space up here to worry about, like the living room itself. And I probably could have let the window light expose a lot of this, but just too much darkness down here. So I end up doing quite a few flash shots to try to add some brightness into this kitchen. So I have to take my um, starting point, my base layer, right here. And put it at the bottom and and some people even label these you know they might they might write base or something like that and then you know just to keep track of stuff you know this is my ambient i'm going to put that at the top they might actually call that ambient or whatever natural light or whatever and then these are all flash shots in between okay so if i run through these you can see where i was and this is the last one was a flash area for right in front of me. So what I will normally do, um, and I'm going to do it here, is you know I, I, I start with the, the flash shot that's closest to the base. I have a shortcut on my mouse. If I hit one button, it'll give me a layer mask. It'll change the blend mode to lighten. Then I take my paintbrush tool, and the foreground is black, and I'm actually going to just get myself, make the brush a little smaller, because that was my hand. You can see my hand in the flash. I was hiding behind a wall. And I just want to get this, some of this stuff out of here. I don't mind the floor a little bit. I might keep some of that in there. Um, and then I just go to the next one. Where, where was I? There, you can see me standing in the kitchen right there. Same thing, lighten mode. And then I'm going to brush myself out because really the main purpose of this isn't to light this side. It's to add some light to the opposite side where I am. So, you know, I'm going to take a lot of this light out that's, you know, close to me where I was standing. Do the same. I have this shot over here. I don't really know if I need it actually. Like I'm looking at it and did it add some extra light to some area? A little bit, but not much. I'm actually going to delete that layer. Go to the next one. Now I'm on this side of the kitchen. Layer mask, light mode, and this time paint myself out of there. Anything that's like really, really like overexposed and it got too hot with the flash, I'll just brush it out. So now the idea was to obviously add some light over here. And you could see, if you turn the layers on and off, you can see I'm just adding some light over to this side. Okay, go to the next area. I was hiding behind this wall here. I don't know if it's totally necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. Not a big deal. And then my last one was for the area in front of me. And this is really like a lot of harsh shadows, a lot of stuff going on here. Um, but that's what this ambient layer is for. In fact, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to really brush anything out because I'm going to let the ambient layer going to let the ambient layer, which I will, now I, I do a different method here. I'm going to hide it. It's black, normal blend mode, and still a brush. And I'm going to change the, the foreground to white. Again, shortcut on my mouse. And I'm going to brush in a ton of ambient up here. This is going to be mostly ambient because that flash really wasn't meant for up there. I want that to be kind of dark. I don't want people really to go up there. I don't want that to be very bright. Okay, so really the idea of this ambient one is to kind of work on the area where things got kind of flashy in here, a little overly flashy. And just kind of what I, you know, I just want to smooth it out a little bit um, like that. I'm getting in here again. The floor, I can just brush in. It's going to make it a little darker, but that's okay. I'm just going to brush in some ambient down here into the kitchen. And that looks pretty darn good. Now, there's going to be some, some spots here in the living room, too, that I need to... These, these couches are really reflective. So I'm going to brush 
brush some of that out too. And you know, if you make a mistake, or you can always just switch the blend, uh, the foreground back to black and, and and redo it. But this is looking pretty good. It's a it's a little hot up here and over here. Um, but you know, I think it's okay. This is a lot of ambient in the ceiling, which is what I want. Okay. And I'm okay with that. Now, if I really wanted to get nitpicky, I could take this base layer and make a copy of it. I could duplicate it and put it up top again, hide it and maybe just, you know, if things are getting too bright, I can take that. I can take that base layer, the dark layer, and just kind of brush in a little bit of darkness in some spots. Now I'm kind of I'm kind of spending a lot of time. This you know for an MLS for an MLS you know house going for sale is kind of a lot of work, but it is an important shot. You know this is a this is a good shot. It really shows a lot. You want to get people into the kitchen area here, so that's got to be you know pretty well lit down there. So that's really about it. That's that's how I handle that. And then, you know, I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's that's really rare for me to have eight layers open for an interior image, you know, unless it was for a builder or something like that. But that's really how I handle it. You know, I will save this in the Lightroom. There'll be some tweaks in Lightroom and um, it'll be ready to go. So gives you an idea of my mentality, what I was thinking on site. So I was lighting different sides of the kitchen and then how I put that together once I got into uh, Photoshop. So I hope that helps you out um, to tackle some bigger spaces, how it, you know, it doesn't have to be too intimidating. Again, I'm not going for perfection here. It's not you know, Architectural Digest or anything like that. Um, but you know, the, some tools that you can use to, to help you out in these bigger spaces, a little more complicated spacers, spaces, you may just need you know, more flash shots and then you just have to be careful on how you're blending that in. So. Let me know if you have any questions. Give me a thumbs up if this helped you out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't been here before. Check out my affiliate links below or my website. Uh, and I appreciate that. Hope you have a great day. Keep taking and making great photos. Bye-bye.